Hey guys! So today I'm going to do a really kind of random haul because it's a care package slash haul because I bought, I personally purchased a ton of the stuff that's in the box, but then my mom also sent me some stuff in the box. And also I kind of redid my background because the lighting is better over here, but I don't know, I'm just kind of testing, testing this out to see how it goes. So, anyway, yeah, so living really, really far away from home, 7,000 miles, is really difficult sometimes, and it's really nice to get things in the mail and get some random food and stuff that I don't normally get to eat or see or buy or anything like that. So, first I'm going to show you things that I've purchased. So, basically, I purchased all kinds of things online over the past six or more months and had it shipped to my mom's and then she kind of gathered it all together and put it in a box and then shipped it to me. So these are some of the things that I've picked up. I didn't purchase these all at one time. It's been over a really, really long time. I just personally received them all at the same time. So I'm going to dive right in and show you what I got. And they're all sitting here next to me. You just can't see them. So let's go ahead and get started. So I picked up a ton of makeup and a lot of things that I've been looking at or seeing online or seeing in other videos that I've just been really wanting to get my hands on, but it's just not available here in South Korea. So I'm going to show you the makeup. Um, I'm going to start with blush because I have three of them. <laughs> the first one that I have is the Milani Baked Blush in Luminoso. It's been hugely raved about. I wanted to give it a try, so I purchased that. Then over like January sales or Christmas stuff, there was a Tarte, I guess, sample package that you could purchase, and it had a blush and a couple other like small samples of other of their products, but I was going to buy a blush anyway, wanted to try it out, and then also kind of, you know, sample the other things that were included, and they were basically the same price. So I picked up this blush, and it is, oh no, I just scraped it. It's in the color Adored, and it's this like really bright pink color. It is a little shimmery, but I can't tell if it's all of it is shimmery or if it's just like the top of it. I haven't used it yet, so I don't know, but man, these Tarte blushes and their packaging just appeal to me. I love this packaging. It's so beautiful. And I also picked up Benefit Rock Tour, and it's a Benefit box blush, and it's this beautiful rose gold color, and I am really, really excited about this. Speaking of benefit, um, <laughs> back in October, before Christmas was really even started, I saw this thing online and I was so intrigued by it, but it was a benefit um, advent calendar. And I haven't tried a lot of things from benefit, and benefit's kind of pricey, and you know, I don't want to like buy a full size item and not like it. So I bought this advent calendar that had a bunch of deluxe samples in it, and I'm holding some in my hand right now. But, um, you know, I wanted to try some things, and I thought it would be really cool, and it's an advent calendar, and I, I like advent calendars. So I purchased it, and was going to have my mom ship it to me before Christmas. Turns out she couldn't find a box big enough for it to go in. It was like a weird box thing. And I just got it now in March, so, you know, Christmas is over. But, you know, I did get all the products in it, so I opened it all up, and I wasn't sure if it was worth spending the money on the advent calendar at first. There was a bunch of lip glosses, um, some primers, there's the poor professional primer that was in there, um, a couple other... <laughs> primers, a uh, eyeliner pencil, but then there was also Hula, Coralista, and Dandelion, I think, which is another blush, and I was really, really excited about these, and I saw these are the size, and this is the Coralista blush. It's really not bad for a sample, and I was talking to my friend about it, and it just got me thinking, you know, I wonder how big this is compared to the actual boxed product. Now, this packaging isn't 
as cool as the box for sure. But since I bought the Rocketeer blush, I looked at sizes, and the size of the Rocketeer blush is um, five grams, so 0.17 ounces. But this little guy is on the floor. This little guy is three grams, 0.1 ounces. This is more than half of this, which, you know, is kind of an awesome thing. So I got these huge samples, I guess they're samples, of Hula and Coralista and the other blush. And I think that's totally worth it. Because these, like, what are they, 20 something a piece? And this is more than half of that. So that's a really, really great deal. And Benefit in Korea is way expensive. Like, I think it's 46,000 won, which is basically $45 for one of these blushes. And I'm not going to spend that. If I'm going to buy a big blush, I'm going to wait till I get back to the States. Like, that's not going to happen. Then I purchased a NARS concealer. And the hype on these things are absolutely worth it. This thing is amazing. I have been using it for a week now. And I don't think I'm ever going to go back. This stuff is great. Then I purchased these guys. And these are the... Soap and Glory Sexy Mother Pucker Gloss Sticks. And there are three of them. They came in a little package. I ordered these forever ago, and I am so glad that I did. The funny thing about these is that they're from the UK. So they shipped from the UK, went to the States at my mom's house, and my mom shipped them to me in South Korea. These guys have literally been around the world. And they're going to go back around the world, too, eventually when we go home. So... These are amazing. There's, let's see, Nudist, Fuchsia, Ristic, and Plum Jam. And they're amazing. And, guys, the smell of these things, it smells like a freaking cupcake. Like cupcake icing. All three of them smell the same. I've been using these every day since I got them. I love them. They're all awesome. The... Plum Jam, Plum Jam, yeah, Plum Jam one, I haven't used that much, but I have tested it out, and it's awesome. I'll probably wear this one more in the fall, but it's a nice color. It's not too dark, so I could get away with it in the summer, too, but anyway. And then, last but not least in the makeup category are some eyeshadow palettes, and I ordered this one off of Amazon. It is the Balm Nude Tude Eyeshadow Palette. This is what it looks like right here. It's amazing. I actually haven't used this one yet. Mainly because the other one that I ordered... Ow. It's the Lorac Pro Palette. And I have been obsessing about this palette. And I could not wait to get my hands on it. And this thing is just gorgeous. The packaging is weirder than I thought. I wasn't expecting it to be so cheaply packaged. I don't know, but there's 16 colors in here, and I like every single one of them, and they're just so smooth. Oh, I love it. I don't know where to wipe this. Can you see that? I just wiped that from my fingers. It's amazing. I also placed a couple bobble bar. Gosh, bobble bar. That's the hardest thing to say. Bobble bar orders. That'll work. And I was super, super excited about this. The packaging is awesome. Everything I ordered came in one of these. So this travels well. It stores well. It's amazing. So first of all, I picked up this one, this cone-shaped one. I've been wearing this every day as like a part of my arm candy. Then... This one is a cushion cut bracelet, which is super pretty. I ordered this bracelet, which is like a wrap cuff, which is really beautiful. And then I ordered this necklace. If you can see that, I don't know. This one's so beautiful, and I've gotten compliments every time I've worn it. It's just really simple, but also just adds a nice pop. It's a nice statement, but without being too over the top. 
and that's something that I really like about this. Then I was on Pinterest and I got lost on Pinterest one day and I saw this, which is a jewelry organizer, like travel organizer, and I thought it was beautiful and it has my initial on the top of it. And it's so unique because, first of all, it's got an expander in the bottom so I can expand. And then, let me open it. Then in the top it has a place for earrings and rings. This comes off. Like that. And then, oh, that's a bobble bar one. But in here, it's got individual packs that zip. One, two, three there. And then there's one on this side, this side, and this side. And then it goes down deep like this. So if there's like important things you don't want to get tangled, you can put in all of these packages and then other stuff in the bottom. And it's all nice and compact and super organized. I love this. It was a really great purchase. I also put in an order to Victoria's Secret. I needed a new bra, which I'm not going to show you, <laughs> and some more underwear. I guess I didn't need the underwear, but they're so cute. So I ordered them. And then also I ordered these shirts and I ordered three of them in three, in three different colors. <laughs> But it's just this like long sleeve, super thin, comfy, loungy material and I love bright neon colors like this. And I can wear this in the spring, I can even wear this in the summer, like if I'm on the beach or something. And so I ordered this like super hot pinky coral color. Then I ordered this awesome bright neon yellow. And then I think this one was like a surprise favorite. Like I like this color, but I didn't, I didn't realize how much I was going to like it. It's this kind of almost neon, I don't know if that's showing up on camera, neon kind of minty green teal color. This color is gorgeous and it looks really good with my skin tone too. And that's a win win. And then it wouldn't be a care package if there wasn't some food involved in a care package. And my mom sent me some things that I've really been missing. And I'm just going to show you some of the things that she sent me. First of all, you can probably hear it. First of all is Kraft Macaroni and Cheese. You cannot really find macaroni and cheese like this here. Now I can make pasta and cheese and make it macaroni and cheese. But sometimes you just want like a box of macaroni and cheese and you can't find this here. So she sent me some macaroni and cheese, which I was really excited about. By the way, all of this is going to be junk food, so don't expect anything healthy. Second of all, she sent me... No. I'm in the land of ramen. I told her not to send me very many of these. This is my favorite ramen from the States, and it's the hot and spicy chicken flavor. There is ramen here that I eat religiously, and it's delicious. Ramen is, there's tons of it in Korea. But anyway, she sent me a couple of these, and I cannot wait to eat this. It's so good. It's one of my favorite, favorite ramen. She also sent me the Orville Redenbacher's Natural buttery salt and cracked pepper popcorn, cracked pepper popcorn, and this is my absolute favorite popcorn. When I was in the States in the summer, I couldn't find this anywhere. I went to like six stores before I actually found it, and it is my absolute favorite, and I cannot wait to have this. Then, she sent me my favorite cereal. For the past two years, I've gotten cereal for Christmas because I can't find this here, and cereal is really expensive and we don't have a ton of options, but the cereal, Kellogg's Frosted Shh. It's my absolute favorite. I love this cereal and I haven't opened it yet because I need to ration it and enjoy every single bite, but I cannot wait to be in the land for this is made again. It's going to make my day. Then, of course, since it's Easter, she sent us some Easter goodies. So she sent us a, well, two, Russell Stover's Solid Milk Chocolate Bunny. And then she sent us Reese's Peanut Butter Cup eggs. And you cannot find Reese's Peanut Butter Cups in Korea. If you can, they're really, really expensive because they're, like, on the black market. And they're so, so popular with foreigners. But, I don't know, I guess Koreans don't really like them. They have... Mm, Twix and Snickers and M&M's, but Reese's? Mm -mm, nope. So I think I'm actually going to eat this as soon as I'm done filming because my mouth is like watering right now. So this has been my U.S. haul slash care package 
deal. And this will actually probably be my last care package because we are moving back to the States in four-ish months, which makes me really sad, but also really happy at the same time. I can't wait to see my family, and but I'm really going to miss Korea and everything, so uh, it's a toss-up. So if you've enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Also, you can follow me on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, Pinterest, Google Plus, I don't know. They will all be listed in the description box below. And I will see you in my next video. Bye, guys.